Okay, Seesaw friends, I had to show you this awesome um, trick to adding audio files on top of an existing page um, so that if you want to do like a spelling test or a spelling activity or if you just have something that the students need to read and you want to add audio clips um, for them so that the, if they struggle reading they have a way to access the text, um, this totally works. Okay. So in the activity, um, you can see there's a page in the background here and there's these movable pieces for the letters and there's text boxes that for them to type. Um, and then what you're gonna do is just get, add another page. Um, so you're just gonna add another page and then upload uh, just like an audio a speaker icon and you can just like Google speaker icon and then save the image and put it here and then you're just gonna record so let's say I'm doing a spelling activity lake okay and then it makes this kind of like a video file so you just click it and then you're gonna go in the corner where that little dot is and drag it smaller and you can see it's just like a little video now and you can copy it and then just paste it on top of your other page just like that and then when you're done adding those audio files you can just go on this these pages that you had the audio files and just delete those and these ones will still stay here so now on this activity the students would push this audio bake and it says bake so then they would know, okay, I'm going to build the word bake right here. And then I'm going to cover it by just clicking the undo button a few times. Or you could have them add a shape over the top, but that seems complicated. So I just have them put it back and then they type it. And then they can go on, on, on to the next one and push play. Shake. And then like that and etc so you can do that as many times as you need to and just keep dragging like I can delete this one and then just go through that process again pushing record and saying the word make and then again you just click and then go to the corner and drag it smaller and then you just copy and then you're gonna paste it right back on this page where you want it and drag it to where you want it. And you can lock these right there um, so that they can't move the image around unless they unlock it, but you know. <laughs> um, but then they can make and hear the words and type it or hear the words of the directions or however else. So I hope that's helpful.